Coach, uh, initial thoughts on today's game? Yeah, I think it was a tell of last game. You know, you have a ton of possession. You had, you know, 20 shots to their four all game. Uh, they had one shot on goal, and it was a PK. It was transition again. Um, disappointing. Just really disappointing because, you know, you have opportunities to put the game away early, first 25 minutes. You don't do that. Uh, you allow teams to stick around. Uh, you know, obviously there's always going to be a one or two breakdowns in a match. Uh, you just hope it doesn't cost you, uh, and it did cost us again. Uh, and, and, again, we kept fighting. We kept playing. Uh, their goalkeeper made a number of big saves in the game, What you're supposed to do uh, if you want your team to, to get the win and get the shutout, and they did that. All credit to them. Uh, now we need to get back to, to work tomorrow uh, and prepare for our next match. You know, you look at the game, um, you, you find out what you did well, find out what things that you need to correct, and you move forward. Uh, early on, you, it just seemed like within the first uh, 10, 15 minutes of the match, you guys were able to just uh, pepper their area with shots, crosses, and nothing goes through. Just How do you just reevaluate what you guys are, uh, have been doing offensively to try to get one of those to get in? Yeah, I think you, you said it, right? You just evaluate it. Uh, we're creating chances. We're getting a lot of chances. Now it's just, you know, it's a final, final shot, uh, maybe the decision when you pass. Uh, a few times, just the weight of the pass where a guy on one-two would have been in, a little heavy. Uh, so those things we just got to clean up, and, and we'll continue to do that. Uh, you know, movement of the ball, you know, finding spaces. We've done that very well. Now it's what we do inside the box going that way and in transition. Uh, we got to fix those things. If we fix those things, we'll be fine. And you guys were moving the ball a lot on the outside wings. Is that just something you guys continue to just uh, free flow, just uh, continue passing and just try to just find the gaps and angles of shooting shots inside the area? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult when you're playing teams that are sitting on top of their box, 11 guys behind the ball and they're squeezing the middle. You know, you got to figure out a way to break them down. Uh, if they give us, you know, space on the outside, we'll take it. Uh, but at the same time, we've had quiet looks inside and, and you know, it just didn't go for us today. And then now defensively, you guys concede that one that one penalty inside the box, which looked kind of 50-50 from my angle. Oh, what what did you see on on that breakdown that it kind of gave them that that uh, PK challenge? Yeah, I think it just comes back to first the initial. We're we're two defenders that are one, you know, and we should do a better job. Uh, that's what it really comes down to. It doesn't lead to the PK. Uh, was it a call? Was it not? I'm not sure. But you know, we should have done a better job with that moment, and we didn't. And in fairness to them, they made us pay for it. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Coach. You got SMU coming up on Monday. Um, what's going to be the, the message to the team as you guys prepare for that? Yeah, it's, you know, first you have to look at this game first. Uh, you know, look what we, we did well. Uh, and then we pick on what we need to improve. Uh, those things have to be improved. If we don't, you know, it'll be another tough match for us again. Uh, and that's why we're playing these matches in non-conference. You know, I told the guys, you don't win the game. You don't win the championship all in one or two games, you know. Uh, we have a long season ahead of us, uh, and we just need to get better. Uh, and we will. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.